You too. My name is Trey. Welcome to Work Out Change. Man, you would not believe what Mariah had to say about Zion. Let's watch. You guys, I literally did not want to come to the internet and I'm just tired of saving face for this man that's completely disrespecting me to the world and I literally have to take this. Every time I come on the internet, people are bashing me because of this man, literally. And I'm tired of it. He knows, he, he said he's gonna send me $62,000. I have yet to receive that since June. I'm literally here, like, he's literally a liar. You guys, everything he says, he's a liar. He's not who he says he is. I literally been saving face. I did not want to come to the world and let you guys know what he has been doing to me my entire relationship with him. He is a woman beater and the NBA needs to know this. <sighs> I literally did not want to come to this because I know he has so many endorsements. But Zion Williamson is a woman beater. <sighs> And the reason he was paying me off is so I won't come to the world and tell everybody. <laughs> you guys. Guys, I can't believe this. Listen, I have no idea what's going on with this thing. But here's my biggest thing with this. We have to get right into it and be very serious about this. Number one, it sounds like this woman is obsessed with the Zion. She said all of this after everything happened with the baby and him getting somebody else pregnant and all this stuff came out. She was talking about how it seemed like she was so obsessed with him when she was trying to do the face tattoo, blah, blah, blah stuff. But here's the serious thing I wanted you guys to understand. If for any reason the NBA takes this even slightly serious and this man, this man gets suspended from the NBA and loses money because this kind of accusation, you got to understand, guys, something like this could take a whole year to even get to court if Zion decides to go after this. There's only two things I can think is going to happen, right? He's either going to go all the way to court, which we will probably get suspended from the NBA for a little bit for that because the NBA has no idea because, you know, the police is going to have to investigate it now. Or she's trying to get money out of him and she will get the money and he'll pay her off. I don't know if Zion did this or not. I don't know. But my problem is, is, if it's not true, she could possibly ruin this man's career for the next year. Ruin this man's ye life for the next year because she's being petty. She's obsessed. She has a problem with him. That is a serious accusation. Y'all saw in the comments people just saying, ah, you didn't shed a tear. You need to let it go. People don't understand. When you get falsely accused of something like this, it can be very serious. I don't know if she's going to come out with a new video. I actually waited to see if she came out with a new video to be like, hey, guys, that's not what I said. Or she would delete this video. Nope. It's been 13 hours. This video is still up. Why do y'all continue to do this kind of stuff? Man, Zion, listen, man. And it, it's all over. He made a mistake. We can understand that. And nobody could have guessed that a woman was going to go this far and take it this far. I understand people are always like, this is why you shouldn't get with women like this. Listen, guys, sometimes you take a slip, you mess up, and you don't know that women will take it this far. And now we've got it to where she's looked like she's going to try to get some money out of him. Or if the accusations are true, Zion's done for a while, at least for a while, at least for a year, a year or two. But either way, man, she is truly trying to ruin this man's reputation, right? Because somebody is going to have to pick up on it. Somebody's going to have to follow up. Somebody's going to have to do an investigation. And this man can lose a ton of money for this whole thing. And we have no idea what can happen from this point on. I know we want to make this funny. I know we want to laugh. I get all that because we feel like she's obsessed, blah, 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 blah. And this is why, I, listen, I got to say this. This is why I didn't joke about it when it first happened to Zion. This is why I didn't make any videos on it. This is why I didn't say, man, she's just crazy because Zion really gave her the good. I didn't do all that. Because what I always tell you guys is when it comes to this kind of stuff with women being obsessed and all this, this stuff is serious. When I talk to you guys about toxic relationships and how people want to laugh and it's all goofy, when I was talking about Uzi and JT, I told you this stuff is serious, guys. It can always go down a very dark path. So I didn't make any jokes about it at all. And here we are now, her making a serious accusation that can change the course of this man's life for the rest of his life, for the rest of his life. And this man is what, 22 years old? 22 years old? And his life could, could potentially be going down a hard path and now he's going to have to go clear his name because honestly we have no choice but to pursue it unless she comes out and says that was false but then even then she would be criminalizing herself so now we have nothing else but to do but to look into it 
And now Zion is getting ready for his NBA season with this hanging on his back. You guys, listen, I know you never know what a woman's going to do, but as sometimes we got to understand that when it comes to these toxic relationships and everything like that, look out for your other brothers, man. Always try to tell your guys, hey, stay away from women like this. Don't get involved with that. You don't know. At least do some background checking before you go sticking your stuff anywhere, man. And that's a serious thing because you just never know what woman will do this. So it's just better to always scout them out and try to figure that out. But he did make a mistake. I'm assuming, and I hope he's out of this life, but now he's got to deal with these repercussions and things are about to get real tough for him. I'm hoping this disappears, but who knows, man? Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. I feel sorry for this young man. Life is about to get tough no matter how you slice it.